Yeah, I grew up in Bakersfield Road, um, where we had the march at this weekend. So, I mean, it's a tough environment. I think now, if you as you always hear about, it's always on the news. Um, so, I mean, it was tough. Like you know, going to the going to the court, it was always a hundred dudes playing. I think the main thing growing up on Bakersfield Road in West Charlotte taught me is how to compete, how to be competitive, um, because you had to fight for everything. If it was one water left, you had to fight for it. Um, nothing came easy. So I think that's the way I played. That's the way I coach. Um, uh, what else? Um, I started playing basketball. I think uh, Ed Sockwell was the first guy that really gave me a chance playing basketball. He, he ran the Charlotte uh, Sonics. Uh, so he came to the neighborhood and heard I could play, um, got me out. And, you know, everybody was like, look, man, you know, this is what everybody dreamed to do, get out the hood. So. You might this might be a stepping stone for you. I think I was in like ninth grade, so I started playing AAU around ninth, tenth grade. Really wasn't in love with it still. Um, wanted to hang out, be a hard head, but the guys in the neighborhood kept encouraging me to go do it, go do it. And I'm glad I did it. Coach Sockwell, and then that's when Clarence Johnson, CJ got involved. He he started coaching me and mentoring me and kind of then the Oak Hill thing came up. And I think at that point I started taking it serious because I felt like I could really do it then. I just played because I played in the neighborhood, but when did when, you? When, how old were you when you when you realized you had a real chance to be really good? Uh, I think when I when I went to Oak Hill, I still was unsure. Um, then when I came home from Oak Hill and I played in the program a couple times, I was probably like one of the best players out there. And I realized how good I had gotten and what I could do. So everything for me that I was doing negative or wrong or bad decisions, I started making the right decision and I started saying, "Hey, I could do something with this basketball." So. That's why I'm so adamant now when I coach these kids and to tell them how to just use this ball. To, I've been to Greece. I've been to France. I've been to Italy just because of basketball. So those places I could never go from Vegas for a road without the ball. So I'm passionate. I'm adamant about basketball because it really saved my life. Um, it's done a lot for me. It took me all over the world. Like I said, it's paid my bills for the last what <laughs> forever. So I'm passionate about basketball, but I went, when I went to Oak Hill, came back, I felt like I could do it. So then my junior and senior year, was I was ranked in the country. I was All-American, all that at that point. So I felt like then I could do it.